Okay. Uh, let me get this in front of me here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Live. We should be live. We should be live. We should be live. Yep. Okay. It says we're live, so we're good. Must be good. Uh, live chat. Blah 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 blah. And then. Uh, what's going on, boys? What's going on? All right, all right. Tyrone Crockett, what's up? Kevon, Shaquille, Geek, Patrick, Smith, Dave. Why are you still talking about this anime? I mean, get the fuck out of here then, Nigel. What's up, Nigel? Joe Mamba. Random, Herb, what's up? Jay Kane, what's up, man? How you doing? A reaction to how Omen was used in a recent chapter, I called it. Yo, you said that, uh, you just said that on, I think, like, two streams ago, and I said yes. I think a lot of people called it, man. <laughs> Red Skull, what's up? I'm good at, uh, random. I'm okay. Is it true you like, man? Sometimes. It depends what you mean by like, so. Saw you fighting the gym leader with the broken Diaga yesterday. Uh... Oh, Lance? Yeah, I beat him though. I just couldn't beat Gary. <coughs> Excuse me. Keyless, what's up, uh, what's up, man? Still having fun playing Pokemon Red. Yeah, um, I'm at the end of it, so. Dave says Vegeta always jobs the villains. Yep, that's true. It's true. Derek, what's up? It's trash riding. Yeah, I guess so. Why did they have Vegeta job twice with a new form and for the same reason? Well, you remember, the fans, the Dragon Ball fans were coping for a good two months straight, saying that, no, 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 uh, n no, my god, no, no, Vegeta needs that self-realization to get stronger, and he's gonna come through, and they're gonna get a lot stronger, and all this other shit. No, it's still the same shit. Still the same shit. It's, it, so far, it seemed to has, it's only worked for Goku, apparently. That's what's even worse about it. Is DBS manga failing or doing fine? Uh, it's tanking. Oh shit, what did I do? Oh, how do I go back? Oh no. <laughs> oh shit, what happened? Well, let me just get this live chat in front of me then. There we go. Alright, 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 alright. Yes, yeah, whooping is making me hard. Yeah, I'm getting stronger, getting sleepy. Facts. Facts. 100% facts. Non-stop facts. You messing up already? No, so on OBS, I went to click to close the poll, but I guess I clicked like one of the answers. And now the live chat is gone and it's asking me to sign into Google. <laughs> like on the live chat bar, it's really stupid. Um, but whatever, no big deal. I'll just use the live chat through the, through the YouTube feed. Dramble in general is failing? Yeah, maybe. Ryan says, hi, Amish, how are you tonight? I am... I'm feeling kind of off today. I don't know. My throat feels like... <clears throat> I don't know. I don't feel 100%. I have a headache. I don't know. I'm just feeling kind of meh today, you know? Hit me harder, daddy. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's failing. Make Dragon Ball great again? I don't really care at this point. I stopped caring. We got Kakume. It's fine. It's fine. Everything will be okay. York knew what's up. He doesn't address why the story is bad, but how the ones who run this series are incompetent. Yeah, I mean, you could... I mean, if... I mean, yeah, that, that makes sense to me. If, I mean, incompetence is, is leading to the manga failing, then yeah, it makes sense. Richard Gunn, what's up? Richard, I think you're a new member. Um, I believe that you are, so appreciate you. Thank you for signing up. How late am I? You're pretty good. We just started. We just started. We haven't gone into the video yet. You know, as per usual, we like to give people about 10 to 15 minutes to join the streams. And then uh, we'll, we'll jump into the content. The manga's garbage that doesn't seem to be able to be, recy to be recycled. Yeah, I suppose. DBS Chronicles posted the manga sales from volume 1 through 17. How'd that go? 
If it's not top 10, then it ain't shit. Uh, yo, Emish. What's up, Awkward? Well, if it's not top 15, I guess top 10. Yeah, top 10. Top 10. You should strive to be top 10. Since TOP, it has dropped by half. I'm not surprised. Not surprised. That's crazy. I'm not even... Well, sit by half? And it wasn't even that good to begin with, right? Like, it wasn't even, like, crazy good before. Even though I liked the manga before the TOP. <sighs> Manga's garbage, bro. I stopped reading it once. The start of the TOP. Damn. That was a while back. Uh -uh. Omen stronger than full UI? <laughs> it's because Goku's emotional. He has emotional damage. That's why. So stupid. So stupid. I like this Masu arc of the manga. Yeah, I agree with you. Do you see Frieza getting a new form or UI? Uh, a new form. Just give him a new form. Because, like, the thing about Frieza is that, like, his current forms now, all, like, look good to the point where you could do a lot of things with them. Even if it's just a recolor. You could still... Do, it still looks good on him. You know what I'm saying? That's the good thing about Frieza's current forms. Uh... King Atla King Atlan, what's up, man? John Paul or Jean Paul? When the parody v uh, VA of Goku is saying the official manga is bad and the fan manga is peaking, then people in Toei should be concerned. And I don't think that's a real reason. That's right, Masako was like the parody Goku, right? Eh, but who cares? I mean, I don't think that's really relevant, personally. It's kind of pointless to keep super running. That's that's where you're wrong. Um, if it were, then the thing about Super is that, like, it pumps out content for everything else, you know? So, it's average. I don't, I don't know. Um, some people feel it's average. That's fine. Ruin, what's up, man? How you doing? Zamasa was the best arc to me as well. I mean, if you think about it, like... ROF and BOG were like promotional. So technically, I mean, yeah, you only had Universe 6, then the Goku Black arc. So you only had two like solid arcs, really. Um, TOP was rushed. And then you they skipped the Broly stuff. And then that's it, really. So not really a surprise there. How do I become a member? Uh, if you go to the channel page, there should be a join button there. Um, NGR Gaming underscore 8. The ten dollar donor appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's good, Beard Mosh? If I catch these streams, might as well support. How you doing, night from work? Uh, I'm I'm okay. I'm not I'm not feeling all too like all too well today. Kazun, what's up, my friend? How are you? How are you? Um, but I'm uh, hopefully NGR. I, I know I said NGR gaming. I meant NRG. Sorry, NRG gaming. Uh, hopefully you're having a good day at work. Are you Are you at work now watching the stream? If so, appreciate you. Appreciate you. And the stream says no data for some reason. Let me know if we're dying. Let me know if we're good, boys, please. Let me know in chat. Let me know in chat if we're good. I don't know why it's doing that. <clears throat> as long as people buy merchandise, it won't go anyway. It won't go away anytime soon. Eh, maybe, maybe not. I don't I'm not sure. We're good? Okay, cool. Um TOP was fun, but could have been better. It, it was super rushed. And you know, back then the excuse was because Broly movie, right? But, um, it, it's, it's difficult to even say that anymore. You know what I'm saying? Still good on my side. Okay, just making sure because it said no connection. It said no data, even though, like, the dot was still green, though, so that, which technically means we're connected, so I don't know why I was doing that. Ultra Ego looks goofy and feels ewy. Um, probably because of, like, probably because it's Vegeta using it. Out of work, but hope it can get better. Oh, yeah, man, definitely. I understand that. I feel you. Yeah, hopefully it can. Hope I hope it does. Fucking world is going to shit. Mainly our country is going to shit, man. Everything is expensive. You can't, you can't, you can barely afford to live. You can't even afford to live. Forget barely afford to live. Barely afford to live. I just hate gas. I agree. I hate gas prices as well. Ain't that, ain't that ironic? Like, gas is so disliked. Like, <laughs> gas prices are bad. Gas is bad. It's all bad. Let's go, Brandon. Facts. He did that. 
fucking Sleepy Joe. Yeah, facts. <laughs> Oscar, what's up, man? <laughs> uh, we will get into it later, but folks defend the manga by saying it's a V-Jump manga, even though the manga is still Dragon Ball. Perfect way to join the stream. Yeah, for real. I agree. Um, let me see what Breezy is saying. What? Even though it's... You know the manga is still drama. I mean, yeah, it's still drama. Why do you hate gas? Because he's ass. No pun intended. He's ass. I, he's terrible. He's not ruthless. He doesn't feel like a threat. He's not menacing. There's nothing about him that screams you have to beat this guy. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Are you in multiple videos? Uh, it depends because I, I think what I did say in Scholar's video, that took like an hour. Um, so this, this Masako video is 16 minutes long. Uh, which means that I can make this easily like a three hour stream. Not to say, it doesn't mean I will make it three hours, but it just depends on how long, how long this takes, honestly. Uh, I might just do this one video here, but, uh, you know, unless we find another video that's similar to this one, um, outside of my own, obviously, then, uh, we can do more of those, but it just depends. I don't know. I'm I'm not feeling too well right now. Now that I, now that I think about it, but who knows? Maybe as I do this reaction, as I do this response, I might start to feel better. <clears throat> Yo, Vanti, what's up? Geek Hammer says, uh, Macron whispered to Biden. What do you mean we can't get more? That guy is so fucking stupid, man. Like, I you know I don't like politicians, man, but that guy especially, like, he like he just you know what it is it's not like it's recent he has a track record for being a fucking idiot but I, I digress it is what it is we're not gonna make this about politics i just wanted to give my my two cents on that um you know gas is mentally unstable and mentally weak character he's just ass in general he just sucks dude i don't think you ever did a video discussing the manga's masu arc yeah i i don't think i was uh i don't think i did i don't think i did i don't really see the point in doing it though but maybe maybe because that would require me to reread the manga. And the thing and the thing about rereading the manga is if I go back to a point where I liked the manga, I'll just get more mad and annoyed as to how bad it is now. And I don't know if I want to put myself through that. I don't know. I mean, it depends. It depends. Maybe it'll be one of those streams where, like, people just show up and fucking in groups and we get, like, a bunch of donos and we get some members and we get a whole bunch of shit going on, like... Like, the Kakume stream did well, and the, uh, what other, the last two streams, the last three streams, I think, have done well. Which is good, because I've been slacking, like, I haven't really been, like, active YouTube-wise, but it's, it's good to see that when I do decide to stream, um, the streams do relatively well. So. Remember when people defended Gas by saying he was just a side villain? Yeah, uh, well, it... We were given the impression that Alec was the one to watch out for. I, I still feel like he could be like that, but I don't think it matters anymore. I, I think people have just pretty much checked out, you know? So, shouts to Kakme, agree? Kakme vids are good, yeah, yeah. I enjoy your streams. Yeah, a lot of you guys seem to enjoy the streams, which is nice. Uh, you know, it's, it's... I don't know if it's easier than just uploading, but I, I don't know. Sometimes I just... Pre I prefer streaming, uh, which is weird. <coughs> Because it, it probably is a lot easier to upload videos, but I don't know. I prefer I prefer streaming. Because I think with streams, I can go uh, I can go as long as I want. It doesn't really matter, you know? So, so uh, let's see. I missed a few chats. Sorry, boy. Sorry. Hey, man, I follow you a lot. Appreciate it. Dragon Ball Super Manga is yawn emoji. It is yawn. Kakame equals good. Super Manga was bad. It's, it's, it's unfortunate, Richard, because, like, it doesn't have to be that way, you know? It doesn't have to be that way. But the worse the manga gets, the better fan mangas get. Does that make sense? Like, the, the better people... The better people get at actually trying to portray things, you know? Because if you, if you, you know, fan... Anything fan-related used to get a lot of shit. If you used, to, like, anything fan-related, fan manga, fan anything, would get, like, trolled. Like, people would make fun of it, you know? Nowadays, it's starting to pick up, not start it, I, actually for like the last two years, I would say. The last year, the last one or two years, fan, anything fan related is, has really, uh, it's done well. It's been doing a lot better and it, and it continues to do better. I think people are more excited to see like fan projects than actual source material, which is unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Are you keeping up with JJK manga with Japan on Hakari? So, uh, JJK, I think I stopped reading after the Shibuya arc. It was like chapter 150 or something like that. 
Uh, so I need to pick up. I need to pick it up again. You love us, that's why. I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Kavel, what's up, man? I don't know if I said hi to you yet. I mean, if you should play horror games. I don't know. I don't know. You just sound like you would bring funny ass content to your personality. Uh, me and Unreal. I've played some on his channel. Um, I'd have to find them, but we've played like like Devour and uh, I think Phasmophobia. It's called something like that. We played that. Um, we just we talked so much shit, dude. <laughs> we talked so much shit. I haven't played with him in a while though, but. I don't know. I haven't really been in the mood to play horror games, but I suppose that could be a thing. I suppose it, it's very fun though. Like we, I, I can't. <laughs> we just laugh and talk shit nonstop. So I, I suppose it's fun, which is weird, um, considering why I don't want to do it right now. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Oh, we're about sixteen minutes into the stream. I'll read a few more chats and then we'll start. Uh, we'll start Masako's video again. Share the video and like it. Let people know that I am going to, that I am doing a reaction to Masako's take on the Dragon Ball Super Manga failing. So again, uh, let's get this stream popping off. Let's get the stream popping off. How I was going to put the movie and manga is making my head hurt. It makes no sense. Uh, it didn't used to be this way. The only contention is probably Buhan and Kid Buu back in the day. Well, and Super, I mean, Cell, Deborah, stuff like that. But they were, they were good debates, you know? Glad you're streaming more. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to keep it up. Try to keep it up. As long as I have content, as long as I, f I feel like I have things to talk about. Because uh, I hate repeating myself. So, even if it means, like, money, even if it means to milk it, it's really tedious for me. So if I'm not interested in it, I won't do it, you know? <clears throat> Excuse me. Imagine Dragon Ball Cockman with a professional anime budget. I'd be concerned. It depends on who'd be behind it. How dare you make a 16-minute video reaction in 16 minutes? Yeah, facts. Facts. At least we can get all the, uh, we can all agree the manga is failing and it's boring. I mean, you know, some people like it. Uh, Ruin Astro says, Ambush, do you think of the manga but he's using that power he got in Yard Drive where he takes away? Uh, no, I don't think so. Because Spirit Fission applies to uh, power, like, power gained that, well, I guess in a way, because the way I'm about to explain it makes it seem like it's possible to use it, considering that the, the power that they gained was granted to them. The thing is, though, is it is their own power, though. It's their latent potential maximized and condensed at the at the expense of their life. So it is their power. It's not like a fusion. It's not like uh, assimilation. It's not absorption like Buhan, like Boo or Moro, for example. So technically, Spirit Fission shouldn't be able to work, but they could they could pull off any shenanigans they want to. You know, um, they could you know Vegeta was able to create like his little own spirit bomb in a way, and then use that as fuel for Goku, which wasn't what was originally described. But then you know apparently the principle is the same, so they could do whatever the fuck they want. Gregory, what's up, man? Justice for all the best fire images high. Hey, I mean, it is what it is. I'm just, you know, it's just my take on it. I don't, I don't really like, I don't like it too much. I think it could be better. I think it could be better. It feels bad to see so much regression. It feels very annoying and tedious. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do, boys. Real quick, let me just go grab a drink. I like your debating style. Thank you. I haven't debated in eight months, unfortunately. I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna debate anymore. I don't, I'm not too crazy about it. Um, but give me a second. Let me just go grab a drink. And then we'll, as soon as I get back, we will start this video reaction. So, just give me one second. Very progressive story. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much anything progressive nowadays is considered ass cheeks. So, <laughs> look at the state of the world. That's progressive and it's progressively getting worse. All right, give me one second, boys. One second. ginger ale right there. Nice good old can of ginger ale. Kids think it's progressing. Nah, I don't even think kids think it's progressing. I think kids tune out. Alright, let's get this music out of here. Boom. Alright, boys, we're gonna have to do a quick sound test. I'm gonna play the video. Is that your favorite song? Yeah, I like ginger ale. Schweppes, preferably, but I could set off a Canada Dry or whatever else. But Schweppes is the most bubbly of the bunch to me, so. 
I hope you're recovering from COVID well. I, I I feel like I am, but today I feel off. Like I don't know if you guys could hear it in my in my voice, but it I, I it just feels like something's off. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. And uh, I feel like I have to talk low, like like this, because my head is. I don't know. I, I my voice feels tired. It's weird. Roshan, what's up, man? I'm just worried. DBS is great. Uh, mods, can we ban winter in chat, please? Thank you. Um, all right, quick sound test. Hey, folks. Hey, folks. Masako X here. Now, hey, folks. Masako X here. Uh, could you guys hear that? Was that loud enough? Am I too loud? Or T Tech, what's up, man? <clears throat> Does that sound fine? Uh, I'll play it back. Hey, folks. Masako X here. Now, is that good I enough? Bet you're going to say that, oh, the Dragon Ball Super manga, oh, that's trash, and that we really should. It had an echo, kind of. Yeah, that's because it's from my, uh, it's from my headphones, probably. But as long as you could hear it, like that's all that really matters. I'll move my mic back more. But uh, all right, let's jump into it. I'm gonna lower it down just a little bit here, so it probably doesn't echo as much. All right, let's try that. Didn't be giving this the time. How's that sound? Does that sound better? Be best just to not better, but does that sound it's okay? Not no, we're not. Like is Masako's video video loud enough? I can bull super manga. Oh. Do, does his video sound loud enough for you boys? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know in chat. Can start unless uh, I get confirmation. All right, boys, let's get it. Share the stream. Let people know we're doing Masako X today. And uh, let's get it. Here's why the Dragon Ball Super manga is failing. Masako X apparently has the answer. Um, and I guess a quick disclaimer, just because he believes it's failing doesn't mean that I'll agree with him in regards to what his points are. I can feel like it's failing for different reasons. Okay? J I just want to put that out there because I don't want people to have this um, this misconception about like, just because he's saying it's failing, I automatically agree. Um, so let's, let's, let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, that's trash. <clears throat> and that we really shouldn't be giving this the time of day and that it might be best just to forget about it. It's not canon. No, we're not at that. Well, I don't know about the, it's not canon part. I know he's, he's like joking, but everything else so far I agree with. That point yet, but sometimes I feel that we're close. Havrock and I for the longest time. Oh shit. Time. Wow. Wow, that's interesting. Really liked the Granola Saga when yeah. it first began, especially. I agree. I agree. It seemed to be a refreshing change of pace. Talking about. But you know what's funny about that, Masako? So was the Moro arc. The Moro arc also felt refreshing. A different change of pace. It blatantly did, and look what happened. Saiyan law from a different perspective. More Dragon Balls. More Namekian law. It sounded to us like the perfect manner in which to talk more about the universe of the dragon world. Only ultimately turned into an encounter which we're slowly starting to care less and less about. I don't know about slowly. I stopped caring about this like six months ago. And it doesn't help that we have to wait a month every single darn time. What yep. does this all mean, Masako? Put simply, dear friend, it seems that the super manga is fast approaching the same cyclical issues that has befallen it before that we had with the likes of the Moro saga. That's the phenomenon mm -hmm. where we, when it comes to the final act of a particular arc, are really starting to feel exhausted with the whole ordeal. And to yep. see it fall from grace like this again makes it all the more galling for us to witness. It's it's so crazy because so far I don't have much to say. Like I I agree. Um, this is one of those videos where it's scary when it comes to like content creation because it's supposed to be a reaction video, but so far it's like all I could do is nod my head in agreement so far for the most part um, because I understand a lot of his examples are just generalizations, but I mean for the most part I agree with them so far. Um, scary. I bet you can relate that with any type of story that you love to begin with. And then it starts to drag on for a very long time. And ultimately <laughs> ends with a uh, Game of Thrones, so I can't be fucked to watch this shit. 
I cannot be fucked to watch this, so I, I'll just automatically just nod my head in agreement because fuck Game of Thrones. The flourish or had been going on for so long that you end up just not caring how it concludes, just how it concludes. Yeah. This might seem to be the case here. I'm afraid I just don't think Gine cameos can save it. We always yeah. thought... <laughs> That's so good. Yo, Bweezy was right because Bweezy put out a tweet. I mean, we're only what, not even two minutes into the video yet. Again, this doesn't mean that every point he makes I'll agree with. Let me just pull up this tweet real quick. Um, so, so Bweezy, he tagged me on this, right? Look at this. Everyone eventually gets to where Ad Admission's life thinks. And it's crazy because it's like it's from Masago X. I never would have expected that. But so far, it's just like, uh, <laughs> it's spot on, not even two minutes in, so let's keep going. Not the new cycle of any recent Dragon Ball manga saga with being excited for what is being established. We are very positive with the initial premise and how it's differing itself from the past story that it's a change of- So the pro- okay, so that's where it's kind of like weird for me. I don't think it's, uh, differing itself. I literally just think- that it's not differing itself, it's literally changing what just happened in arc ago. Or what we know over the course of like Dragon Ball's history, Z's history, coming into Super and they change things for convenience. Rather than just adding on to the, sto the, uh, the story, all they can do is just change everything that you've already been programmed to believe happened, or is the case. Because they suck. They can't fucking do anything else other than just recycle the same shit and make a couple tweaks here and there. Rather than just trying to do something else, they take what's already established and they constantly change it. Sometimes it's not bad. Sometimes it's okay. But it's gotten to a point where it's just like, you know what? Uh, okay, Broly movie stuff comes around. Broly art comes around. We find out Bardock, that Goku, Kakara is the first person Bardock has gone out of his way to save. And then the manga continues, uh, even after referencing the Broly movie. It continues and we find out that, no, just kidding. Uh, Bardock's actually saved quite a few people before. He saved Granola, wanted to save his mom, save Monaito, and at the same time helped slaughter the Cerulean race. It's just, it, uh, you know, it's too much, dude. Like, it really is. Like, I, <laughs> and it just doesn't have to be that way. I, like, it really doesn't. I don't know. Whatever. Your pace finally something different. And to be fair, though, Moro didn't really have to try all that hard since we just come out of a rather mediocre interpretation of the Tournament of Power. But yep. the longer these stories go, it was ass. the more problems become apparent. And these have to do more often than not with pacing. Toyotaro has... The longer the stories go, the more... The, the easier it is to realize how... In, how incapable they are of... Forget giving fans what they want. Forget even, for, forget even giving fans what they want. Forget all that shit. The more, the, 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 the more we come to realize how incapable they are when it comes to keeping people hooked and just, I don't know, like making it entertaining and just doing something with these characters other than, other than, than, other than having them repeat the same mistakes over and over again, other than recycling and repeating the same old plot points over and over again, you know, and it, it's just boring. It's just boring. As a big problem with this, the tournament of power arc really brought this to the fore. He had his heart on his pen. He didn't like this arc. He rushed that saga to the point of it being a completely jumbled mess. But hey, at least his version of Jiren was much more fleshed out than the anime version. But then we reread the whole Moro saga from start to finish in yeah, one go. I suppose. When the entire story was available. And have come to the conclusion that oh, it wasn't as bad as it felt during the actual monthly release schedule. It was actually pretty good. We could be a little bit more forgiving with the said tome, even the sensu being in. See, but that's not an excuse either. See, I, I I never agreed with that. I understand how like once everything has come out in full, and you reread everything in its entirety, suddenly the pacing feels different, right? And right now, Masako's point seems to be about pacing. How the pacing is. I don't want to say the only issue, but this is the point that he's on so far, which ultimately becomes null and void because once this arc finishes, 
and wraps itself up and people are able to go back and read the whole thing in its entirety, people's opinions will change and they'll start to say, well, the pacing is no longer a problem now because, well, yeah, because it's done. The arc is over with. So suddenly the pacing starts to become less of an issue and it starts to become more of an issue, uh, an issue as to where uh, whether or not it was good. And it also depends on what your standard for good is. Okay. Um, if, if just because, but that, that also doesn't mean that just because something is not good, doesn't mean that it's bad either. It could just be, you know, in between, <clears throat> excuse me. But for me, if Dragon Ball Super, if the Dragon Ball Super manga's high points, right, it's peak moments are equivalent to what I would say, let, let's say like a, I don't know, let's say Jujutsu Kaisen. So if Dragon Ball Super, if the Dragon Ball Super manga's peak moments are equivalent to Jujutsu Kaisen's like not peak moments, like you know, like like shitty for Jujutsu Kaisen, not shitty in general, but just shitty for them, f shitty for that manga, for that anime, then the super manga is bad by just 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 based on that, because that means that it's the Dragon Ball Super manga's peak moments are comparable to shitty moments in other good anime manga, and that's not good for Dragon Ball Super. It might be good for its own, it might be good on its own, but I think not being able to compare the Dragon Ball Super manga to anything else is not fair. It's it's not a good assessment as to whether or not something is good. Um, and I think that's what a lot of people tend to do, is they look at the, the Dragon Ball Super manga by itself and they say, it's not bad. Uh, it's not it's not good either, but it's not bad. And it's just like, well, if if you believe that it's not bad, then show me some show me what you believe is bad, right? I need to know what your standard of bad is, and that's where it kind of like starts to become like a more of a subjective point of view. Like a, it, it's subjective, um, and obviously everybody everybody's taste is different. But if you guys want an example as to something else that I believe that isn't like a isn't like a Dragon Ball, isn't like a Jujutsu Kaisen, or isn't something like that that I think is good. I think Death Note. Death Note is by far my favorite fucking manga and anime. I, I, I gen no matter how many anime and manga I consume to this day, I still find myself going back and enjoying Death Note as if I was watching it for the first time. That's how good it is. And that's nowhere near the same genre of like presentation when it comes to like Dragon Ball, Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer whatever whatever fucking anime manga you think is hype right now um or even growing up like yu haka show you know stuff like that you know um in or any kenshin all these other uh, all these other anime manga hunter x hunter um and for me death note is just solid like overall it's just an overall very well and very solid manga and anime and even though it falls off for me once l dies it's still good overall like it doesn't like fall off to the point where it's like shit you know um but anyway Tangent over. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Incident, but not by much though. What is it about the structure of this whole thing that makes us irritated at Toyotaro's way of running the manga, or at least the manner in which he has been able to abide by? Does the it's crazy because he says Toyotaro, and I agree with him. I think it is Toyotaro, um, but you know, apparently Akira Torama approves this shit. But it's like. Can we actually take that at face value? The same guy who doesn't, he, who forgot that Dragon Ball Super was called Dragon Ball Super. I've been saying it for the past, for quite some time now. I don't think Akira Torama exists anymore. I don't think he's an actual person. I just think they're using his name as an excuse to get by. That if Akira Torama is approving it, there must be some hidden fucking truth behind. There must be some hidden message behind everything. So therefore it makes it good all of a sudden. And I don't think that's the case at all. I think they just... They just say Akira Toriyama is approving the manga just to fucking save, uh, just to fucking uh, take pressure off of Torotaro. But again, it's just speculation. Really. I don't really have evidence or proof for that. It's just the statements and like things that come out from Akira Toriyama just do not. Th th there's such a drastic difference between Broly and Superhero, for example. Um, and his sense of statement, like his sense of where he believes characters stand. Uh, in terms of scaling, in terms of progression, uh, you you name it. it. It just he he just seems to be so out of touch, um, and it's really weird. Um, so anyway, let, let's keep going. Let's keep going. By the way, boys, if you guys are trying to talk to me in chat, it's gonna be difficult for me to talk in chat because I'm trying to respond to Masako's video. I'm trying to react to it. So 
Um, just leave your thoughts in the chat for now, but then once the video is over and we're done with the reaction, you can ask me questions. Um, I'll periodically try to look at the chat and answer some stuff, but I don't want to get too lost in the chat or sidetracked to the point where we, you know, end up changing subjects altogether and then it just throws off the whole fucking reaction. So, yeah, let's keep going. Former Toybull, a fan manga artist and writer, have to follow very strict and linear guidelines? Even though he is meant to be the Toriyama 2.0? Well, we have some ideas as to why this might be the case. Right. And why the state of the super manga currently is what it is amongst the fandom. So, sit with us for a while and listen to what we have to say. And come to your own conclusions. It's like Deckard Cain. You might feel a little bit Stay a while and listen. empathetic toward the chap. Or you may feel right in your way of thinking. It's up to you. First Fuck and em. foremost, Fuck we em. need to compare Fuck the em super all. manga to the original Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z manga. Back in the days of the original run of Dragon Ball from 1984 to 1995, the chapters were much shorter than right. what we get these days. And yep. were coming out on a weekly basis. Right. The current super manga release schedule is very unorthodox. It fell into line with most manga chapters back then, and now actually the original Dragon Ball, about 17 pages or so in length, and everything felt more condensed. Right. There wasn't much time to dwell on the events in the chapter, as in a few days' time, the next chapter would be out, and yeah. you'd get the whole experience repeating itself again and again. Remember right. when the Dragon Ball Super Anime was coming out? It's basically that, only in... Book it form. was weekly, right? You didn't have time to get too bogged down before the payoff or conclusion. Well, you had time, but so this was the schedule. Like for example, let's say Dragon Ball Super, for example, right? Like back in 2016, when I first started covering this stuff, I started covering this. Well, 2016, 2017, something like that. during the Goku Black arc, basically. Okay, that's when I started uh, covering it. And back then, so an episode would come out. You would talk about it like crazy for the first two days. It would still be on your mind for like the next two days and then it would you it would settle down like in your head it would settle down because as a content creator as a fan you would you had pretty much talked about everything you want to talk about whether it's what's going to happen next predictions uh where characters scale versus battles um and what they could do with specific things like theories and stuff like that right which are separate from predictions by the way i think theories in general can just you know ha uh do with anything in particular but I digress. The point is that by the time you started to settle down, you were well on your way to the next episode. Like it was like Thursday or Friday, you, you you were settled down and you were prepping for Saturday or something like that when Dragon Ball Super was about to air. So, you know, even if the episode was ass, it, you, you still got content every week as to where the manga, it's just boring and you have to wait a month for it. And it's not... It doesn't, it doesn't satiate, it doesn't, um, curb your, your hunger for content. It does not enough happening in the chapter that really makes you feel like, man, I cannot wait for the next chapter. Like Kakame, for example, for me. And I, I, it's to my understand that Masako X is also a very big Kakame fan as well. I think he, I think he really like he, he's really enjoying that manga as well. And I don't blame him because so am I. I find myself every, even though that, even though that chapter, uh, the Kakame stuff comes out monthly, I find myself f like wanting more. And every month I, I read a chapter, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure, there might be specific things that I would like to see, but at the same time, it's so much better than, than what I'm currently getting with Dragon Ball that I can't even complain. Like, it's not marginally better. It is substantially better to the point where it's, it's, it's hitting everything to the point where I could say, you know what? Even though I can't wait for the next chapter, that's just my excitement. But at the same time, when I do get that chapter, I'm good for the month. And now, it does bother me when they take months off. You know, they take a whole month off. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Come on, bro. But I also understand, you know, they're, they're you know, I mean, <laughs> they have lives and stuff like that. But that aside, uh, I, I, when I get a Kakume chapter, bro, I'm good for the month. You know what I'm saying? And I'm excited for the next chapter. Dragon Ball Super Manga, it's just like, bro, oh, here we go. I have to review this shit. Ugh, it's so tedious, you know? And I, and I find myself just hating, hating whenever the Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter drops. I hate it so much. ...or continuation of the series would give you some answers or more questions. And then said chapters were then later released into volumes, completed books. A default way of reading the manga in the West, since we really... 
didn't. Uh, let's see. Isaac says Masako needs to stop holding back and say Dramos Sumonga sucks. I mean, he's a nice guy. He's very like apparently. I mean, he seems to be a nice guy. I don't know if he's. I don't think he's scared to say it, but he's he's saying it. This is why it's failing. So that's the, the that's the closest thing to saying it's ass. Just because I say it's ass doesn't mean someone else has. I mean, everyone else has to say it's ass. Like you know, it's fine. It's fine if they don't want to say like you know say those specific things. It is what it is. You typically get chapter based releases, but now online releases via this and the manga plus, for example, are fixing that. You can buy a volume of the manga and go at your own pace. You can either speed read it in a couple of hours or you can go chapter by chapter and take your time. It really didn't matter. You could do it. Yeah, again, it's on this pacing issue again. And to that, I'm just going to say that's not an excuse because if I could go read the moral arc right now and still find myself enjoying Z's boo arc more, you know, or just still find myself comparatively... Um, enjoying z a lot more than super in general you know so that's just that what you like again rereading the whole thing makes it feel very fast paced if you are used to the length of the anime and haven't read the manga in a while or at all you will be surprised how quickly everything progresses but we also know that the anime has some pacing issues of its own in order to give toriyama time to draw new chapters which would then later be adapted which resulted in numerous filler episodes and mini arcs, and the most infamous example of this being the Goku and Frieza fight on Namek. The shortest gap that Dragon Ball Z had between the manga coming out and the mm -hmm. anime coming out got to about four weeks or so. That's a month between the manga chapter and the anime. That is very, very short. That's very tight for any series. So naturally things have to slow down a bit. So it sounds like his point might end up, like in addition to it being pacing, it just might end up being about Toyotaro simply not being a Kiritoriyama. To that, I'll just say, who, give, who gives a shit? Um, because Toyotaro has all the resources, uh, you know, I don't want to say, nece I guess necessary, to put out decent stuff, to put out solid, consistent stuff. He has a month, uh... He, I mean, he, everything is detailed before it gets to Akira Turama, and ultimately Akira Turama is, uh, you know, the, is the guy who's approving this shit anyway, apparently. So, does it really matter? If Akira Turama, if Toro Taro, in, in, in that interview with Victor Uchida, if, there, if, if the implication is that because Akira Turama is looking for specific things, we make sure that it's a certain way when it gets to his table, so the probability of him approving it is high, then... Ultimately, we can end up blaming Akira Tarama too because, yes, Torotaro is the one writing this dog shit. But Akira Tarama is the one apparently saying, Yes, very good. Yes. Hi, this is very good. Yes, Son Gohan Bisto. Yeah, Son Go. Yes. Orange Piccolo. Uh, Brody. Uh, you know, what, Dragon Ball Super? What's that? Like, that's him. That's, that's straight up him. Um, so there's really no excuse whatsoever. Other than they do not care, right? Uh, and if they didn't care before, they certainly do not care now. Like, let's just, I mean, back then, what, Akira Tarama had a team around him, right? To help him kind of, like, make sense of specific things uh, that would write guides for him, right? And he would just, quote, unquote, supervise it, right? But now you don't have that. You, you, you have guys making statements left and right, and people are just like, what the fuck is this shit? And it's, that doesn't just apply to superhero. If you look at the manga, the manga does not portray these characters as progressing. And when they progress in terms of character, they regress in terms of strength. And when they progress in terms of strength, they regress in terms of character. And sometimes they do a little bit of both to the point where it's damn near... It's just damn outright annoying as fuck. And it's... It, and to me, that's what, that's why it's failing. Uh, because Goku and Vegeta don't even know who they are anymore. The the more they pursue power, the less I recognize them. And and that applies to in 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 the sense where in terms of character, uh, progression or sense of character, identity, and just power in general. Because once they start to like forget who they are, they get weaker. They're portrayed to be weaker, and then characters that should not be be able to beat them or beating them. And it's just all over the place. Um, and 
you know, for me personally, it's to the point where like, I don't care if they fix the manga tomorrow. I have been, I am, I'm so skeptical of their ability to do this consistently. Because remember, I've said this before, every once in a while, like after every three to four chapters, we end up getting a solid uh, chapter. And that's just stupid. That means we get like a decent chapter quarterly, four times a year. And that's horrible. That's not good. So, you know, if, even if they give us one solid chapter and I'm still like, hey, I don't care about it. People get mad at me and they get mad at me because I don't like the chapter. But for me, it's just like, yo, um, I'm skeptical just because this chapter was good. Guess what? The next one's about to be dog cheeks. And I don't think that's good at all for 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 any manga, for any story, for anything. It's not good. You know, so fuck it. Like, I don't know, dude, like. A bit, and you can chalk up the trope of long fights to that. That infamous encounter, the Goku Frieza fight, was all because of the anime team having to curb their speed to allow Toriyama to attain a more sustainable buffer again. Trust us, we here know about buffers. We normally have at least six weeks worth of content, ideally, for you to enjoy. So it means we can actually have a break. Nowadays, we mostly remember the iconic moments from that fight instead of recalling how long it felt to get through that battle. Thankfully, yeah, I understand what his point is. And to me, for me personally, I'll just say that's not my problem. Uh, what their schedule is, is not my problem. Uh, you know, if that's the case, if you want, then uh, if, a, if a month is not enough time to put out a consistently decent product, then why the fuck are other mangas and animes doing this? Uh, forget anime. Why are other mangas able to do it then? Some of them are weekly and they can do it. Bi-weekly, whatever the case is. Why can they why can they do it? Why why is Dragon Ball Super constantly the one with excuses? Why? I don't understand it. It, it it's it's so annoying. And I don't mean literally the only one. I'm just saying for the sake of this discussion. Like Dragon Ball Super fans in gen or Dragon Ball fans in general seem to have so many fucking excuses when it comes to this. This dog shit ass manga, and I don't understand why. Other than cope, other than major fucking doses of copium, I'm not saying Masako's doing this. I'm just saying because for him, he's just laying the groundwork as to what what's what happened and what's happening now, right? Potentially, which is separate from my point. I'm just talking from a general perspective. It's just terrible, dude. That's been lost. like I don't give a fuck. You think I give a shit if Torotaro can't fucking put out something? Uh, because he he has time constraints or whatever the fuck is going on, bro. Like, unless it's life-threatening or it, it's totally interfering with his ability to work, I don't care. I don't give a shit. It's not my fucking fault. It's not my problem. He took the job. Uh, you know? So they're all to blame, obviously. But the, the reason I say, the reason I blame Toyo a lot, too, is because he's the one writing and drawing this shit up. It's his pen. It's his pencil. And Toriyama, I, I'm just under the impression that Toriyama just doesn't give a flying fuck. He just, he's just there, you know, forgetting shit left and right. You know, and he's, yes, uh, approved. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that Bardock kick? Yeah, it looks great. Oh, that guy's, that, that, that looks great. Awesome. So, you know, and if that's how they're going to treat it, then... Fuck it. It is what it is. To time. Even when we were watching it daily on TV back in the day. YouTubers also keep milking this franchise. I mean, uh, Exhibit A is my stream. Right? Like, I'm just going to milk it the way I want to, though. That's, I guess, you know, like, that's what it comes down to. Milk it the way you want to. If people are watching it, then keep milking it. I'm not going to, listen, I'm not going to give anybody any shit for making money. Especially with the way things are right now. Fuck it. If people want this shit and want to keep viewing this shit, milk it. You can do it too, Isaac. All of you goons in the chat can do the same thing. All of you, as a matter of fact, here's what I want you to do in chat. Create a YouTube chat. I mean, you have your YouTube account, right? Start uploading videos. Milk the fuck out of this. Because when it's gone, you're going to be like, oh man, I wish I would have taken advantage of it. Katie, hello, how are you? Thank you for the subscription. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, let's continue. But thanks to video on demand and double speed and 
episode guides, we can skip the laborious and tedious stuff and we can tailor make our experience of these moments however we want to make it feel less sluggish. And besides, most of us would just rewatch that segment through Kai anyway. I mean, that's what I did with my nephews when they watched Dragon Ball for the first time. But this moment is one of the biggest miscreants of the Dragon Ball pacing issue going. There's no escaping that. It's the effective poster child for this particular phenomena. Naturally, these issues are not present in Dragon Ball Super Broly or Dragon Ball Super Superhero, the two most recent movies, in movies. Well, I don't know about... Well, let me let, me let him finish this point, actually. You Hold cannot. On. I mean, you cannot have questionable pacing or else it will be very much called out. It's a very glaring issue to have. It's imperative that you get the pacing right or as good as possible. In a series, you can maybe get away with it, but movie, nah. -uh. That being said, the newest installment- So I think he's referring to like the speed overall, where you start, what your goal is, and how fast you get to that goal. Um, I guess, okay, that makes sense, I suppose. Does have Can't argue pacing there. issues, which could be- Well, I could argue, but I'm not going to, because I don't, I don't really see the point in doing that. It just- it, it takes away from the discussion rather than adds to it if I argue if I argue it. So. Described as a, I don't know, a little weird, but <laughs> not an entirely bad way. The movie superhero feels almost Western in its premise, as well as its soundtrack and overall composition. Akio Oyoku, Toriyama's right-hand man, even confirms this in an interview, that this is not entirely coincidental. This was quite intentional, this idea, to make this movie feel more like a typical superhero movie, hence the name or a movie that foreign audiences could get behind more. Something similar to what they're accustomed to with the Marvel Cinematic Superhero took us five years to make? Five years. And that was the best you could do. So, however long it took them to make Broly, give them that much time. Because that seems to be the sweet spot. That seems to be the sweet spot then. Any longer than that, they're gonna it's going straight into the fucking ground. It's gonna 9-11 itself into the dirt. Guaranteed. Guaranteed fucking teed. Universe. In short, this movie will fit right in with all of the other movies that you would most like. That's what's so weird. It took them five years to make it. Five years to make it. Think about that for a second. How much how much, how many things Akira Tarama could have forgotten in those five, in those five years? Well, I don't know, like Dragon Ball Super being called Dragon Ball Super, for example, even though he just wrote a movie fucking two or th like three years ago, four years ago called Broly. That took them two years to make. Uh, he approves of a monthly manga called Dragon Ball Super. That's my point. That's why I'm saying I do not believe them for a second. I do not believe them for a flying second. Like, they just straight up just put whatever the fuck on paper they post it out. And and because uh, uh, um, Dragon Ball fans think Akira Tarama is God, that they just take it. They just take it. They don't even fucking question it. They don't. They don't. They just take it. And that's that's unfortunate, really. Likely watch. And whilst you watch five years watching this video, you may be telling yourself that, oh, we're being unfair about all of this after all. It's easier to set up the pacing for a singular movie than an entire saga for a manga or maybe an anime. But they don't do that, period. We know this from the October interview, I believe it was. We know that they don't plan shit. They have some basic ass blueprints and they fucking just wing it. It's obvious they don't plan the manga at all. And that's problematic. They had five years to work on a movie and superhero was the best they could do. Cell Max, that was the fucking best they could do with five years. So, of course, if that's what they could do with time, then of it's no wonder why. It's no wonder why even the manga is fucking flunking, it's failing, it's boring. Because they can't think of shit. You give them five years, you give them a month, it doesn't matter, you're still gonna get the same shit. Holy fuck. I just realized that. Holy fuck. You can give them a month, you can give them five years. You're still gonna get the same shit. It's crazy. But for some reason, two years seems to be the sweet the sweet spot. I don't know who I want to know who who was actually in charge of Broly. That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. I don't think it was the same crew. I, I'm skeptical now. Now that I think about it, I know I'm starting to become like a a fucking uh, conspiracy theory channel. I get that, but think about this for a second. Look at Broly, and then look at superhero, and then look at the manga, and ask yourself: Is this really the same content? Is it? Something's happening here. 
director of One Piece now was in charge of Broly. That that could be a potential factor. And I don't care. I still I still won't read One Piece. I still won't watch. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. Fuck One Piece. I can't. I can't stand it. But for this Dragon Ball Super manga, you have to plan well in advance and make sure that what you set out to do... Yeah, yeah, the guy who forgets what Dragon Ball Super... The, the guy who forgets Dragon Ball Super is called Dragon Ball Super. You gotta make sure you plan everything in advance. Jesus Christ. Again, this is no slight at Masako, but it's like, think about that for a second. Think about what he just said for a second. It's... He's... Because he's technically right, but it's almost... It's physically... Damn near impossible. The fucking guy forgot Dragon Ball Super is called Dragon Ball Super. I mean, how how could you possibly plan anything? Gets real life. One Piece fell off hard after Marine Ford. Anyone who says otherwise is probably a fanboy. Yeah, but you have to ask yourself, why are they why are they a fanboy then? Because if they're thoroughly and genuinely still enjoying it. Still enjoying One Piece? Maybe not to the same magnitude of Marine Ford, whoever the fuck that is. But if they're still thoroughly enjoying it, and they can still say One Piece is good, then that's all that matters. Dragon Ball does not have that right now. Dragon Ball has people just coping nonstop. That, and there, there's a fundamental difference there. I haven't even seen or watched... I haven't read or seen One Piece at all, right? But I know from... From what fans consistently tell me about One Piece, there seems to be an agreement there that the the main point is that One Piece is, is consistently good for them. And I think that's the fundamental difference there. Even if they're fanboys or not, the point is it still seems to be a very successful uh, title. Like, think about this for a second. Uh, I don't think One Piece has a single game out there that's as successful as like Dragon Ball games, for example. Now, I don't mean just a singular Dragon Ball game, but like I, One Piece doesn't have a mobile game like Dokkan Battle that's been strong for seven years. Uh, they don't have that. They don't have a uh, Budokai Tenkaichi, which are, whichever the whichever one was good. Like they just do not have that. Very few anime or manga titles have that. Very few. So, you know, something something seems to be working here with the Dragon Ball IP, right? Other than fanboys being a fanboys. But it just seems to... Because most Dragon Ball games are ass, in my opinion. They just suck. You know? And now you have fighters, for example. Like, so... You know, I don't know, man. It just, there seems to be something that works with Dragon Ball versus something that doesn't. So, yo, Chris Pitt with the 199 don't know. Appreciate you. Uh, 199 to watch someone stuff that guy in the locker? Hehehehe. <laughs> Nah, <laughs> Chris is a fucking asshole, bro. <laughs> ...over a couple of years, whilst in a movie, you have one script, and sure, it may take years to develop the whole thing, but you have time to fettle the script, to tweak it many times to get the optimal result. Manga, you don't really have the luxury of time. This is also true because during the cinematic adventures, the Dragon team had much more hands on deck to fix Stop. any problems of what we just said. And we are not quite sure how many people influenced Toriyotaro's manga. Right, the dragon team. The dragon team. Uh, someone subscribe. The world's biggest fan. Yo, shout out to you, man. Thank you for the subscription. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Other than Toriyama and himself, so that doesn't help. But we right. cannot ignore certain issues that have been plaguing his creation for a long time. Ever since it started back in 2015, we aren't the first to tell you this. That the monthly 35 to 45 page format. Uh, Boise says actually One Piece Treasure Cruise has lasted longer than Dokkan. But yeah, in terms of console games, One Piece has, has had bad games consistently. So let me clarify. Dokkan, like from the 50th anniversary before that, every time, almost every single time a banner came out, that shit was top grossing. That shit was number one in the store. Chris Pitt with the 199 dono again. 199 for that guy to get laid once in his life. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna let it slide because you're giving me money. I'm gonna let those comments slide because you're paying because you you know you donate into the channel. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but Buizi, like I was saying, Dokkan is just consistently like on top of the charts, like top grossing, number one in the app store. Like, it, it, it is. It, it flat out is. Um, so I mean, so you Dokkan has longevity 
and it just has like overall grossing value, which is just insane. Like if you think about it, um, I I know because I played Dokkan for like a good three. Well, I played from the third anniversary to the fifth. So uh, yeah, Dokkan Battle. Yeah, um, I would still play it now, but you know I'm poor, so I can't afford to play the game anymore. <laughs> you know, gotchas are t uh, gotchas are crazy nowadays, man. It just simply doesn't work at all. And why do we get this monthly format in the first place? On the surface, you would think that having more pages would be ideal, right? Having double the page count of a typical manga chapter, you have plenty of- Yeah, but only like five pages uh, have anything of substance, and even that substance is lacking. Because the fights are always- The choreography for the, for the fights, they typically tend to be drawn the same way as the last fight from the last arc. Um, nothing really stands out. Periodically, you'll as as of lately, as of late, Toyotara has given us a few panels here and there, a few pages here and there that look solid overall. But the damage to the reputation of the manga has already been done to the point where it's like, man, you know what? I wish we got this months ago, and I wish we got this more consistently because one chapter will look good, and the next the next chapter it looks like like it's like who the fuck drew this thing? Who 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 wrote this? It's so inconsistent in terms of quality to the point where it's just not worth, uh, it's just not worth keeping your hopes up for. So that's just my take on it, though. I don't know. People, if you feel free to disagree. Space in which to present your story. <clears throat> Excuse me. Shouldn't those extra pages be beneficial? I hear you say. Shouldn't it feel like two or sometimes three chapters of the original Dragon Ball manga in one go? Well, you mm -hmm. see, that is true numerically speaking. It does allow the creator to cram in more content. But again, the delivery of said content is the issue. And there is also another factor yeah, I agree. which we must address. I agree. Aside from certain creative decisions that have come about over the years, which we won't be boring you about the details today, the biggest issue is that Toyotaro simply <clears throat> doesn't plan his chapters out like the classic Dragon Ball manga, even though he is trying to emulate the original manga in terms of style and- That's the problem. I agree. Dikari the professor with the $5 donor, thank you, appreciate you. If anyone wants a fun manga with an interesting power system and story, I would love to suggest Undead Unluck. It can be read on the Viz app or buy volume one. And before, that's his fucking manga, bro. That'd be that'd be crazy. I guess, yeah, go check out Undead Unluck, boys. In chat. Go let, check it out and let me know how it is. Maybe we can uh, read through it one day. And substance, as part of him becoming the new bastion of Dragon Ball's drawn content. Instead, he's trying to frame these chapters like episodes of the anime. As if he's trying to storyboard it. And But wouldn't that require planning, though? Does it, wouldn't that require some level of planning if it was like if he if he was trying to frame it like an anime? It just it seems to me more like he doesn't know what the fuck to do with these characters rather than he's trying to frame it like an anime because an anime it builds up to something big. This manga doesn't do that, which gives me the impression that he just flat out doesn't know what to do. To which, you know, to which I would say, at what point does this stop becoming acceptable? Like. I don't know, like, at what point do we just say, fuck it, man, like, you know, wrap it up, like. <laughs> then repackage it in manga form. Surely that would be the job of the anime team, Toyotaro. Why are you trying to do two... Like, look, my, I, and I, it, it's, it, now that I'm thinking about it, this video is kind of weird considering Masako does cover Kakume. And it's like, all you have to do is look at Kakume and say, how, how, how come a bunch of kids, uh, like four, three to four fucking kids or whoever the fuck, can take Toyotaro's life work and wipe their asses with it. How is that possible? That's what that's what I'm saying. Like he has the resources. These goons have the resources and the means to put out something. To put out something that that puts Dragon Ball on the trending tab consistently every month, with the exception of people just coping, just fucking coping. Just overdosing on Hucopium. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's such a weird video now that I think about because I know, because Masako does cover Kakume. And it's just like, Kakume comes out monthly too. And we get even more pages sometimes. And it's just flat out better. Like, it's just flat out better. Like, they're not afraid to try things. You know? That's what's insane about it. Jobs in one.
Would you rather be a storyboarder rather than working on the manga? Of course, this is by no way a new thought of ours. We've often thought about this since we started covering the manga on a regular basis around about chapter 53. But in the most recent chapters of the super manga, it is- I feel like it's because like Akira Toriyama had editors and stuff kind of like giving him shit. Like if he put out shit, they would tell him, this is a shit, right? But Torotaro just probably gets, okay, good job, next. And that's why, maybe, that's why it feels like it's not getting better. I don't know, man. I don't fucking, I'm just spitballing. It could be that one thing alone. It could be a collection of a bunch of things. I don't know. Sadly become even more apparent. Back in the day, we could look past it in the sense that things in the Morrow saga, all that. Yeah, things stupid fucking frequently. face. There was a lot of action in there. It was quite cool. And realize that the Granola saga now is set to be longer than the Morrow saga. And less stuff is happening in it. Yeah, the Morrow not left. Yeah, the Morrow saga was like two years long. Planet Serial since chapter 71. That's like nearly 18 months ago. Yeah, Lemon, Lemon's Care, I agree with you. Something else entirely, and that's... It's, it, it's, it's just good. It's just flat out good, you know. Like I won't knock Torotaro if I won't knock them if they try something else. I'll take notice of it. I'll be skeptical of it because of its track record, right? So it's like prove me wrong, you know. Like try something else, you know. I don't know what Emmanuel is spamming in chat, but fuck it. Whatever keeps the chat moving, it is what it is. Uh, someone ban him. Uh, don't ban him. Don't ban him. Yeah, the Moro saga was two years long. Uh, we got 186 people in here, 99 likes, let's get those likes up, boys. If you're here, you might as well click, click the fucking like button, you might as well. You might as well. Now, don't, do not ban Emmanuel, just ignore him. The best way to deal with people like that is to not, is to ignore them, don't ban them. Don't ban them. Just ignore That's them. That's not good. And we thought Morrow's story was- Chris Pitt with the four, with the 199 donor. I don't know why I said 499. Chris Pitt too cheap for that. Now I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Just kidding. Just kidding. Four French kids get more poon and do better than him. Hey, I mean, perhaps. For, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then, to, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I thought you were talking about Austin for a second. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, they probably, they definitely get more poon. 100%. was long winded. You see, fights add dynamism into the animated series and are a spectacle in of themselves. But in this case, we know our Dragon Ball tropes, and while we have new forms and attacks being shown to us up the wazoo, there is not that much that we have. We have new attacks? Haven't seen already. And even though we have 35 up, to 45 pages to work with every month, the plot advances like in those old 17 page chapters. Only, the story cannot compensate for its length. In layman's terms, these chapters are simply over- Bro, Masako, it's English please, bro. Like, I don't know what he's saying. Alone, unnecessary, and are being slowly drip-fed. We don't blame yeah. Toyotaro solely for it being a monkey yeah, yeah, yeah. by the I way. We don't know who is specifically responsible for such a state of affairs. And with him having to receive notes and corrections from Toriyama, it's unlike- <laughs> what? what corrections? <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Corrections. <laughs> oh, man. Likely <laughs> that he demanded Toyotaro such a format for himself. After all, we get drafts about 10 days out before the manga is released, so he isn't slow. But on the other hand, he is responsible for mapping out the chapter. Think about yep. it this way. Yep. This arc yep. has been going on for 17 months of this recording, and we haven't seen present Granola well, conscious at least, since February. That was four chapters ago. And it's supposed to be his story. That means he has been- It's called Granola the Survivor. And it has so little to do with him. He's, this shouldn't, like it, I don't understand. We still haven't seen Frieza. We still haven't seen this fucking lizard since, since Broly. So I, 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 <laughs> well, no, we saw Frieza in Moro, but that was like some off panel shit. Yeah. Who's Granola? Who the fuck is that guy? For almost a quarter of his own arc. 
Granted, some of you might point out to us fairly that oh, Goku's been absent through long portions of his own battles and stories in the past, only to then return at the right time many chapters later. Yeah, but the chapters, the arcs weren't called Goku the Survivor. The fucking arc is about Granola, and it has so little to do with him. The, the lore is not impacted by him at all. Bardock saving Granola doesn't inherently af affect Goku to the degree uh, where he has this epiphany. Like, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it, it's just, he's just there. He's just there. And we do accept that. That is quite true. No, don't accept it. No arc was called Goku the Survivor. That, simple as that. That's how you look at it. But the reality is that when you look at this from a broader point of view, we've been following Goku for about 38 years at this point. I think we can take a little break from Goku every now and then. He's not going to be going away forever, folks. This guy, Granola, is a new character. And we have a feeling that he's not going to be around for much longer, probably within this self-contained story. And yep. in the anime with weekly releases, four episodes or so doesn't feel that bad to get through. There's little time to fester on a duff episode or where is Poochie? Or enough time for content creators to moan about it. <laughs> but with the monthly manga system, it yeah, like me. Anime right here, boys. Months. You read it, you get mad or hype, then you forget about it until about three days until the next chapter comes out and we repeat. Yep. Between there's a huge chasm of nothing. It also yep. doesn't help that the manga is still in V-Jump's top 50 most read installments, despite not having an anime going on, and that their treatment is as follows. Between this film and Toyotaro Sensei's manga, we currently have two lines of Dragon Ball Super running. This film, Superhero, is written purely as a sequel to Broly. Jesus Christ, there you go. It's purely as a sequel to Broly. Fuck the manga. He, I don't care how old Pan is, okay? I don't care how much time has passed. It's a sequel to Broly. Fuck. They've been, it took them five years just to do that. They had five years, and in those five years, they didn't say, you know, the manga is still ongoing. We should probably consider that. No, they said fuck it all entirely. It's so bad, bro. It's so bad. What a joke, man. What a fucking joke. And in this magazine's pages, we have the continuing story of Goku and Vegeta. We'll see new strong enemies show up and new stories and events will continue to progress. Of course, Toriyama diligently, you're right, oversees- Thank you, Masako! Hold on, say it again for the people in the back. Toriyama diligently, you're right, of course, Toriyama diligently. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Toriyama diligently. Yeah, right. Toriyama diligently. Yeah, right. Toriyama Say it again. Yeah, right. I can't fucking. Yeah, fucking right. Yeah, fucking right. Yeah, fucking right. That fucking guy is asleep somewhere. He's dead. He's dead. He's probably dead. He's not even alive. That guy doesn't exist. Who is he? When was the last time someone saw him in person? He doesn't, this guy, like, he doesn't even show up to the office, apparently, or show up anywhere. They communicate with him via email. Bro, the email? This guy does not exist. Straight Buddha with the $5 dono. Appreciate you. I think the movie would have actually been good if Torama was able to make the Piccolo movie he wanted to instead of them forcing him to add Gohan. But then again, then again, there's no reason why he couldn't just add Gohan in there anyway and make and still make it good, though. There really isn't that much of an excuse either. So that that in, in and of itself, in and of itself, that sounds like an excuse. I'm not saying I don't know if the movie would have been better, but you have to ask yourself, like they had five years to work on a straight Buddha with the five dollar dono. Think about it, five years. And that's, that's, that's the best they could do. Sell Max. That's the best they could do. So let that settle in first and then reevaluate and reassess whether or not you feel like a, a Piccolo centered movie would have been better. You know?
oversees the storylines for the manga too. So it's like we have events running in parallel. Oh, that's another thing. Superhero and the fact that it's genuinely trying to change the iconography of Dragon Ball and then we compare it to the manga. It really actually enhances the issues of the manga even more because Superhero yes. is really good and makes the problem even worse. But in regards to that statement, I, I guess in a way, I, be, I I will say Piccolo does feel different in the superhero movie. And even though the superhero movie was shit to me, Piccolo and Gamma 2 carried it. Like, it felt like, like even if Piccolo got, like, a, a, an ass pull power up, the wish is stupid, uh, all that, sh like, even if we agreed to that, the point is that, like, it's still nice to see Piccolo doing shit. Um, as forced as it may feel, it's still nice to see him doing shit. So, you know. Chris Pitt with the 199 donut says this guy never saw a girl, a girl's face. <laughs> Basically, the creators of the Dragon Room, that's Shueisha's Dragon Ball department solely, do not bother themselves with the continuity, not really. They're not going to be getting themselves in a flap about yep. what's canon and what isn't canon. As yep. far as they're concerned, the manga and anime can run separately or they can work together. It's up to what Toriyama wants to do. The At all. Because if it was, in the last five years that he had to work on this shitty project of superhero, he would have he would have tried to fucking have it align as much as possible with Granola. Speaking of that, let me know if you got listen to this point that I'm about to make. You guys can clip the stream and send it to and clip this part of the stream and send it to your friends. Let me know what you guys think. Share your feedback. The, the events of superhero could have been happening at the same exact time that Goku and Vegeta were on serial fighting Granola and Gas. Which would explain why Goku and Vegeta are not accessible for the superhero arc. Because they're off world doing something else. And you can continuously transition between those two events. And it would be fine. I mean, you'd have to change the timeline a little bit, but it would have been fine. Whoever said, oh, Orange Piccolo is on par with Goku... Well, which Goku? Because Goku has gotten stronger like eight times this arc. Vegeta's gotten stronger like eight times this arc. Granola and Gas have gotten stronger eight times this arc. So which Goku? And it leaves it open to discussion so where people can discuss things without killing each other. It would have been fine. It would have been a great idea to do that. But nope, they don't plan these things out because they don't care. It's not because they can't do it. It's because they don't care to. That statement says it for you. It implies it. Damn near says it, if, if it doesn't say it objectively. Yo, Lemons Cure, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for becoming a consumer. Appreciate you. Shout out to Lemons Cure in the chat. Thank you, thank you. Just Kale Fanboy, we got another consumer. Consumers are lining up this stream. You love to see it. You love to see it. Shout out to Just Kale Fanboy. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's continue. Or am I not? It's not relevant for this new movie, though. The thing is, though, is that the manga is the most consistent progression of the story going, with movies and videos being larger. Are we good? We good, boys? Let me know real quick before I continue. Let me know. Are we good in chat? We good? Okay. Some lag, but that's it. Just uh, refresh the stream. Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw like the, uh, I saw like a bunch of viewers. Like it went from 200 viewers to fucking 125. I don't know what happened. All right, just refresh the stream, boys. And uh, we'll continue. We'll continue. There are events. And we do feel that there are certain things. I gotta see what's going on with that. All right, so after this, after Masako's video, I think we're gonna wrap up the stream. Uh, I don't know, it, it, it keeps saying no data. Like, I don't understand. I don't know why it's doing that. OBS says it's working fine, but then YouTube says no data. Like, I don't, this is so annoying, man. Jesus Christ, bro. Oh my god. You haven't lagged once? Alright, cool, 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 cool. Alright, let's continue. 
And after Masako's video, we're gonna wrap it up, alright? Because, uh, I don't- this shit is annoying. <laughs> that can be improved upon in an anime adaptation. Is it just Wi-Fi? That's the thing. I have a wired connection, bro. I have like a thousand fucking megs down and up and shit. Like I, I have, I'm wired. So I don't, I don't know why it's. It could, it could be shitty Xfinity. It could be those fucking assholes. Fuck them. After all, that's what <laughs> most creatives like to do: add things to the anime or cut things from the anime to make the experience and story flow better, or maybe different enough to warrant people checking out both mediums and spending twice as much money. Sure, Dragon Ball <laughs> still is popular. That, there you go, Masuka, you figured it out. Twice as much money. It's bad as it's often framed, but we just wish that we wouldn't fall into the same cycle of exhaustion every time a new arc comes to its conclusion. I we'll agree. probably read all of the Granola Saga once it's done and consider it to be fine, but wouldn't it be cool if- But is fine enough. One of these days we felt that it was- Is fine good? Was- Does fine meet the standard of a Dragon Ball fan, considering Dragon Ball fans think Dragon Ball is good? Those are the questions. Great. From the start? But yeah, pacing is a hard thing to get right. And we would be hypocrites not to acknowledge that sometimes we ourselves struggle with pacing on our channel for our what-ifs. But for Dude. what it's worth, we are trying to improve. And seeing how the media behemoth that is Dragon Ball is still having these problems after over 30 years of experience <laughs> doesn't make us feel so bad in comparison. But what do you folks think? Do you think it can be fixed? Check out our- I think fuck it. But nonetheless, go check out Masako X if you guys haven't already. Shout out to Masako. Thank you for the video. But yeah, I think fuck it. Fuck them. That's what I think. Fuck them all. Not trying to start anything, but you're you're not that good of a debater, to be honest. You lack a lot of common Dragon Ball knowledge and lore. And I'd still slam me you on your neck, though. That's why people think I'm good. Because I lack basic knowledge, right? But I still sound convincing as fuck. You know, so that's that. But yeah. Uh, anyways, boys. Does power levels still matter at this point? I mean, it's... It's essentially the goal. Like, Goku and Vegeta have goals for becoming the strongest, so technically it still does matter. It still does matter. I would say it still does matter. Uh, I missed the best round while debate besides this. No, I don't, I don't think that. I don't, I don't even think that at all. So there's that. Um, but yeah, there's Masako X's video, Why the Dragon Ball Super Manga is Failing. It seems like a lot of his point, points had to do with pacing. I don't think it's just pacing. I think it's just flat out boring. But that's just me. <laughs> That's just me. It doesn't have to be you. Will you ever post a debate again? If I debate again, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, boys, that's going to wrap it up for today's stream. All right. And it's the first stream of the month, I believe. And do you like the name Ultra Ego? No, I think it's ass. You've debunked anyone who tried to debunk you. Uh, I, I, I would kill you in a debate. You couldn't stand. Damn. So I'll just sit. I'll just debate you sitting down. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'll say that I can't stand. I'll say that I'm handicapped. Still win. And then ask you how it feels to lose to a handicapped person. See? Either way, it doesn't matter to me. Win or lose, it doesn't matter. I don't really have a problem with winning or losing. I think it's a lot easier to lose. That way people just stop comparing you to other people. <laughs> it's a lot easier for me. I'm going to join your server and debate you. All right, cool. Have fun with that. All right, boys. I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, the stream will be archived on the channel. Shout-outs to, shout to those who donated. Shout-outs to the members, to the new members of the server. Of the, not the server. The the channel. Lemons Care with the $10 donor at the very last fucking minute. At this point, Toriyama's existence is equivalent to Bigfoot Sasquatch. He's a fucking mythical creature. I've been saying it for like the past month or two. Thank you, Lemons Cure. Uh, happy 4th. Uh, I will be 30, how long? I'll, it's my birthday on the 4th. So I'll try to stream a little bit on the 4th of July just to check up on you boys. So uh, if you guys want to come hang out for a little bit on my birthday, um, which is the 4th, I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys soon. If I don't, I might try and stream tomorrow, maybe on July 5th. I don't know. It depends. But uh, yeah, boys, I'll catch you guys soon. The stream will be archived on the channel. Shouts to the current members of the channel. Shouts to the new members. Shouts to those who donated. And shouts to everyone else uh, who's been, you know, showing support just by watching the videos and just providing their two cents uh, in the chat. So I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you guys. And uh, good night. Peace.